but government recently approved that uh, investment in the medicinal cannabis industry, both by both domestic and foreign investors, um, you know, will change. And from now on, investors are allowed to own 100% of their investments. Then they can locate their uh, facilities anywhere in the country. Uh, and therefore, that is a very positive uh, development. In addition to that, the, the government has also agreed to sign with um, investors in the medicinal cannabis industry what we call investment stability agreement. And this agreement uh, just adds significant um, other assurances on uh, property rights, um, lack of uh, uh, expropriation of property uh, and investments, uh, and also provides for uh, fiscal and monetary incentives. We are pleased that this is a, is a very strong statement by the government of Zimbabwe, that it is very serious about the development of, of this uh, nascent uh, industry. Um, and we believe that uh, given the fact that we have got uh, significant competitive advantages in skills and knowledge of agriculture, and of course our favorable climate, uh, we will see very significant interest in this sector. We have licensed so far more than uh, 50 uh, investors in this space, um, and we are now calling on those investors uh, to come in and sign the investment and stability agreement with us because that agreement um, is an added layer of uh, uh, you know, investment security, <clears throat> which uh, obviously the Constitution provides for, but uh, the government has seen it uh, proper that it, they can extend uh, those assurances uh, you know, on top of the constitutional pr uh, provisions by signing this uh, investment and stability agreement. Um, the fiscal incentives that are provided for uh, include uh, tax and um, you know duty uh, uh, considerations, and of course, in terms of uh, export retentions, uh, the government has agreed that, uh, and uh, government and the Reserve Bank have agreed that investors who are producing um, medicinal cannabis uh, can retain 100% of the export process. Basically, if you are exporting unprocessed um, uh, medicinal cannabis, you, you will retain your export process for a period of two years. If you are um, exporting semi-processed, uh, then you can retain for three years and fully process 100% uh, retention for four years. So these are very, very bold and uh, firm statements uh, to the uh, you know cannabis medicinal cannabis industry, to say uh, Zimbabwe is very serious and committed to growing this industry. One of the things that government has also uh, uh, provided for to promote uh, research uh, and uh, local empowerment is that there's a green fund that's going to be formed out of the uh, the revenue of the industry, and that green fund is going to. Uh, be very active in the promotion, as I said, of research uh, and propagation, including up to the pharmaceutical industry, uh, propagation of medicinal cannabis. So we are very pleased about this development, and we have the support of uh, government through the Med uh, Medicines Control Council uh, Authority, and also from the uh, participants in the industry through their association, which is called uh, um, the as, as, um, Cannabis Industry Association, Association of Zimbabwe. Uh, so we are, we, are, we are really excited and uh, very pleased that uh, this is going to be a very positive statement in the added um, reforms that this government is uh, committing. The processing uh, from licensing to completion of all the applications uh, in medicinal cannabis will be done through, through ZIDA. Uh, Zida's One Stop Investment Services Center, and that is all. That is all you need to uh, deal with. Uh, you should not, if you're an investor, go to any of the government departments. Uh, Zida will handle all your requirements uh, through the One Stop uh, Investment Services Center.